Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to tell you about what's happening with my app suspension. All right, so today I want to give you guys a quick update of my biggest application or what was my biggest application, Ear Agent. So I talk about this application a lot when I do my revenue reports. It's the bulk of most of the revenue comes from EarSpy on iOS and Ear Agent on Android. But I mean, a lot of the apps do pretty well, but that's the big earner. That's the big one. And back at the beginning of August, it was suspended by Google Play. Uh, and this is the question I've been getting a lot since then because I did a video about it and a lot of people have asked me, hey, what's going on with Ear Agent? Did your appeal go through? Did you appeal again? Did you appeal again? So I wanted to fill you guys in about what's going on with that, sort of the background of the application and just sort of the, the progression of how it worked as an app developer. And there's not really a lesson behind this. I just thought I would share this with you because this is my experience as an app developer and a lot of you guys out there are app developers. and you can take whatever lessons from it that you want, right? And there's certain things I need to do and everything. So the short part of it is it's still suspended. I got an email last week. Finally, they responded to my email saying, I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. You could re-release the app under a different package name and, and just change the name slightly, but we cannot reinstate the application, which means I have to redo all the backlinks, have to redo all the promotions, I have to get all the user reviews, I need to get all the kind of stuff. I'd basically be starting from behind. So, but let me just give you a little bit of background about the application itself. So, I released EarSpy, I called it EarSpy initially, back in 2012, at the end of 2012. And there was nothing like that out on the App Store. It was like a totally unique idea. So, basically, I was, wor I was working a contract and I was working on this project that was just very unpopular in the company. I didn't want to be working on it, but, and nobody really liked the application. I mean, it was like this management portal type thing, and I could hear people murmuring about it. I was a contractor coming to work on it, and I hear people talking about how, you know, this thing's going to suck. You know, why, do, why are they making us use this thing? And I was just sort of, you know, and after a while, I was just, I would start to try to listen to what they were saying, but then they would see me and they would just start to mumble to themselves. And I thought, wouldn't it, because I had my headphones on, I thought, and I had my, uh, my laptop, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could just turn up the volume on my laptop and go through the microphone and hear what they were saying and have like a little graphical equalizer so I could filter it out. And that was the idea for the application. I had this idea for a hearing augmenting application called EarSpy. And I released it into two versions. One was called EarSpy, which was like an eavesdropping type spying tool. But basically all it was was it just brought the microphone in through the headphones and then you could filter out the noise, right? Using a graphical equalizer. I released it again called Ear Assist, which was more geared towards hearing impairment. But so I had the two different versions. Once the repetitive content policy came out for Google Play about a year and a half ago, I, I just unpublished Ear, a uh, Ear Assist and just left Ear Agent in place. And Ear Agent was going, it took a while for it to take off. It was just constantly working on the keywords and the ASO and everything like that. And eventually it started to get a little bit of momentum and then a little bit more, more reviews. And then finally it started to take off a little bit. And it got to the point where I could start doing more things stop contracting, I could start working on Overpass full time, and it really started to work out. And of course, over the course of, of, of the years that have gone since 2012, there's been a lot of similar applications that have come out. There's been a lot of copycats, and I've done videos about the copycats. I mean, people who would take the exact icon, the exact look and feel, the exact description, people copy the description exactly, and I would have to go onto Google Play and, and get them removed and report them and everything like that. And sometimes, there was just a similar idea. Like it, it wasn't that, it was a unique idea at the time, but it wasn't the kind of thing where like I could see other people having a similar idea. So I wasn't too, too concerned about that. So, and then a couple years ago, Google Play suspended it saying it was basically saying it was creepy. And then they said, well, it's because it's pretending to be a medical application. So I basic, so I pleaded with them, they, they reinstated it. And then I just took all the medical jargon out. I took all the mentions of, eavesdropping and spy. I changed the name from ear spy to ear agent. I took everything out there that was spy related and then it continued to go on and it, it, it bring in about, 
it would bring in about two about two thousand pounds a month so it was actually it was doing really well it, both in terms of advertisements in terms of in-app purchases and and it was the top of the of the app market when it came to that right so last month at the beginning of august it was suspended again right for malicious behavior basically it says it still implies eavesdropping and i thought oh, you know and so they don't tell you on the first the first time they suspend it they just say malicious behavior please review the guidelines and then you have to appeal it and then they'll come back with a bit more information they said because of the whole eavesdropping thing so i said okay well in that case can you just reinstate it right thousands of people literally thousands of people have made in-app purchases they should be able to restore their purchases they should be able to use this application and there's hundreds of copycats out there that are called ear spy that are called ear agent they're just shameless copies and they're still out there on the app market so could you just reinstate it so then i could just go through and and um and change the name i'll change the name i'll change the icon i'll do whatever i, I need to do and the first appeal failed the second appeal failed the third appeal was ignored right they just thought they stopped answering it they just didn't answer the third appeal uh, and then finally, last week, I got the email from them saying, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. You can release it again under a different package name, under a different name, and basically start all over, which is something I may do. But a couple of days ago, my son sent me this link to, uh, to the new features of Android 10, right? And one of the features here is sound amplifier. So one of the I, – I use a lot of terminology and keywords and descriptions in my in my – advertisement so so the uh, ear spy had a distinctive look it was something i came up with myself i had one button at the top which would start and stop and then i had a graphical equalizer at the bottom it was very simple there's one screen right my son says me this sound amplifier thing which says uh, which is brought up by google saying uh hear what hear what's around you more clearly with sound amplifier your phone can boost sound filter background noise and fine tune how you hear best whether you're talking to your best friend watching tv listening to a lecture just plug in your headphones and hear everything more clearly and this application came out in february now now my son was all like i think they stole your app dad they stole your app and they, they stole you you know they, they basically removed your app so that they could put their own out there because this was released in february and as much as i'd like to think that yeah yeah they stole my app and i was going to do a video that was going to be the title google stole my app really clickbaity but then i thought no but it is there is something to be said for the fact that they remove an application for malicious behavior and then they at the same time, they release their very own app as part of the platform called Sound Amplifier, which does the exact same thing and looks very similar to my application. So all of it is just, it's, it's something I'm not necessarily angry about because we do have the other applications. They all need their own care and feeding. They all need more work on the ASO. They all need more stuff. They're still bringing in revenue. So you know, I've been putting my revenue reports out there. It's just been, it's just a lot lower than it was uh, in terms of the other applications, but it's still good. Like I would never, I wouldn't shut my app, my apps off and I don't want to get my, uh, go, I wouldn't say screw apps. I'm leaving it because they're still making good money off of it, but it's just a learning experience. One of the good things we do work with so many clients and we've done hundreds of applications for clients. And a lot of the things we learned about how the app stores work and how the Play Store works is by our own applications. Just pushing that envelope a little bit further and sometimes we make mistakes. So the silver lining of this is that it was a learning experience, but I thought I would share that with you guys, uh, my fellow app developers out there, so that you know when you put your application out there, this thing was not suspended because of what it did. You know, because there's lots of other apps that do the same thing. It was suspended because of the way that it was marketed. And even though I changed everything, it was more the, um, the connotations that it had, which is also the reason why it was so popular in the first place. So anyway, so that's the story of Ear Agent. I don't know if I'm gonna appeal it anymore. They're kind of not, um, they're not responding to the appeals anymore. I think what's most likely is next week, I'm gonna dust off that code for Ear Assist, which I, which I unpublished last year, and that's gonna go out there because that has reviews, that has ratings, that, you know, that has a little bit of a head start than if I started stri straight from scratch and competing with all my copycats. But, um, but uh, that's it. So that's the story of Ear Agent, um, and that's, that's where we are with it so I guess if there's a moral to the story is 
when we talk about whether or not you should have one app or many and the benefit of having one big solid app is that you can give it 100% of your attention, you can make the best user experience, you can maintain it a lot easier. The downside is all your eggs are in that basket. So, and if that gets taken away for whatever reason, then you're screwed. And at least I'm not screwed. Well, maybe a little bit. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.